there is the meal the platter that you told you about it looks so sumptuous and yummy uh, let's just dig in i'll tell you how it is the edge, feel like i'm floating through the edge. So today I'll take you to the shops where you can buy maybe household items. I'll take you where you can buy dresses um, for yourself, for your children, children outfits. You know the way these kids grow uh, fast, like within two months, three months, they're already taller, they're already bigger. So um, because of that, personally, I prefer to just buy maybe cheap items not really uh, expensive items i prefer to buy cheap items so that um, by the time even uh, they are a bit taller they've at least worn them and it won't cost me very much to maybe buy something else another item for them but for now i shop here because i believe these clothes they're only worn for like two three months at most after wearing them for two three months they are just left there. So I have to give them out to either relatives, to either children's homes. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the motorbikes, the cars. It's just an active place. Now we are in Isili. I'm so happy that it's raining. There are not many people here today. These places, even just driving your car is normally hard under normal circumstances. But today, because of the rain, it's so easy. I can't even believe we are in Isili like yet. Silly Royal Mall. There is uh, big, big malls are built around here. I'm so happy today that there are not so many people around. You can see the clothing on the shops, the people walking on the sides, the clothes that are hung. Yeah, matatus. Many, many matatus, different malls that sell different items, day-to-day -day mall, yeah, people carrying items, a normal market environment, clothes, hand, this is called a Zim shopping center, in case you want to look for clothes, for sale, these are dummies, like when you want to hang clothes outside shops, this is the place to be, many dummies are here, um, hotels, Tawakal digital printing. Uh, yeah, it's just a busy business hub. And this is when there's rain. So you can imagine when it's not raining and people are all out there. Like even a car to move, it's very, very hard. Like discounts, like bargains. This is the place to be. If you want bargains, this is the place to be. But there are children floats on this mall. It's called, uh, where there is Taran Hotel. It's called Prestige Shopping Center. You hear the people announcing on um, speaker, I don't know, on uh, public uh, systems, public sound systems. They're just calling out for customers to come to them in order to buy. These are coats. This is the rainy weather. In case you don't have jackets, coats, sweaters, you can just come here in case your kids don't have sweaters, jackets, uh, coats. This is the place to come and be able to just acquire one or two very nice outfits. Look at that jeans jacket with leather on the neck. It's for men. There are also some jumpers, some nice, nice jumpers. Um, look how busy it is. Look how many people are on the streets. They're buying stuff or selling stuff. Most are buyers and most are sellers in this place. There is no way that it can be any other person. Like, I wouldn't find any other person in this area unless they are coming to acquire goods. In fact, what happens is people buy here because not many people also know this place nicely. They buy here at a bargain price, then they go and sell out there. They go and sell like jackets for babies, you see? That's what I was telling you about. You see those jackets in this weather? They are fuck jackets for babies. Fuck to pick one or two for my babies. Because I'm also going to look for a dress for my daughter. She's getting baptized on uh, 4th of December. So I need to get her address. So I have to walk in this mud. Jesus Christ. Just came in, I don't know from where. I think people here also import a lot from China, Hong Kong. Those big markets, eh? This is now Bangkok Mall, Bangkok Shopping Mall. 
It's really run over there. Bangkok shopping mall, you come when you want curtains. No, curtains, no. Bangkok, you come for also... There are curtains being made there. There is Prime Shopping Mall. It's just beside the road. Bangkok, you come for, yes, curtains, and you come for phone accessories, phone covers, and so on and so forth. That is where they are found. Malls are all over, different types of uh, clothing. There are clothing styles that are suitable to mature ladies, uh, girls, young girls' clothes, children clothes, all that. Yeah. These are motorbikes. I think the riders are waiting for customers to come. They carry them. This is a new mall. I've never seen it pre. <laughs> this is a new building. Or is it renovated? It's just a very new building. I've not noticed it before. It looks so cute. Then there is Mandara Shopping Mall. Mandara Shopping Mall, you also come for carpets. There are also tailors there that make uh, clothes in Mandara. And then there is, if you want to, it's a good day in that there are not so many people on the streets. But it's a bad day because we are going to step in the water, in the mud. And this road is new. I don't know how it comes. The feeder roads have not been built, but the main road has been built. Those are Manyangas, Matatus Manyangas. Yeah. We started out in a house. If you come here, you'll get like 80% of items that you need in your house. Carpets, mattresses, you know? Carpets, mattresses, blankets, uh, bags clothing, shoes, you'll get all that. Eh? Uh, getting the shops together, I don't want, uh, because this place is also a bit unpredictable. Your phone can be stolen. I don't want someone snatching my camera off. I just want to put it away. And then once you're in the shops, we can be able to now uh, talk to you about the items you're buying. So we'll see you back then. You can see there are canned beans, coffee, tea bags. Uh, cooking oil, popcorn, dengue or green crumbs, all sort of items are here. Even nice treatments, you know, nice treatments like Tresem, anti-breakage, you know, all these shampoos are here. Good quality stuff. And then uh, oil for the hair, baby items, baby gift, baby soap, things for the kitchen, just everything. So we normally shop here in bulk. Um, if you, for example, December, you know November is a long month, then Sasa Ukeka, December, it's even worse. So, we normally like coming here, yeah, like things like Oreo, I have a birthday coming up, I'll just buy these Oreos, so that when the birthday comes up, I don't have to spend a lot. Oil, watch, everything is just here, and people normally think that it's bad quality, because it comes from this end. This is what I use, and this is what we use. You see when I'm making my cooking videos, there is no problem with them at all. They normally come out good, the food is good, the food only stands out to nice. You know? There is everything here. I'm just going to start shopping, and uh, let's do that together. Boss! Nataka, eh, Kilo kumi. Gani nzuri squeeze. Kushinda Mahmoud. Gani nzuri kushinda Mahmoud. So, because I this is the normal coffee, Nescafe. This is what I'm getting because I'm the only one who takes coffee right now. Uh, scurry. Moja. 
Check in your supermarket and compare, you tell me. I don't know. Pengine na gongo na siji. So like for her, 500 grams is 200. <laughs> 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 I have a Tattoo. Now it was more Now it was I 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 in Zuri, I'm a lady. Nipa, you used. Is it for the time? Is for Kula? Utakula. Let us. Billy. We are done with shopping and uh, we thank God because uh, we've managed to do everything that we needed to do. Get hungry. So we decided to come to Paduma Hindi restaurant. Um, we've seen it on Instagram to try and sample whatever they have to sell, uh, whatever they have for their meals. I hope you know Paduma Hindi. Yeah, they have very yummy meals from the pictures. Let's now um, let's now taste it. You see, there my lips are dry, <laughs> but it's been a long day, kinda, but a fruitful day. Yeah, so I'll just show you where we are seated. I'll also show you down there because Paduma Hindi is somewhere on one of the buildings along Isili. It's on 4th Street. If you know Isili, Paduma Hindi is on 4th Street and they normally have very, very yummy meals. Just check Paduma Hindi restaurant on Instagram. You'll be able to see it. So this is our first drink. It's an alcoholic, I, I don't know, it's called a Blue Lagoon or something. And then there's Dawa. Dawa is a medicinal drink as well as a relaxing also drink. It helps like um, if you have a cold. But mine is not anything medicinal. It's just a sweet, beautiful drink. I wanted to see how cute it was. I wanted to compare it with what is on the menu. So go to Faduma Hindi restaurant on their page and compare with what I was given and just confirm to me whether it looks the same, same thing. Yeah? Okay. Now we are going to test this drink. We are at Paduma Hindi, as I told you. It looks so cute and it's so yummy. Wow. I think it has right? It has mint leaves. I don't know, it's called Blue Lagoon or something. It's so yummy. It's an alcoholic drink. Most Muslim establishments don't sell mm, alcohol. Just waiting for the meal. In a record. We'll tell you how long the meal will take so that you can know how to rate their service, you know? But my drink so far is a... a 10. <laughs> is it a 10 or an 8? I think it's a 9. DM me, I tell you why it's a 9 and not a 10. Okay? My lips are so dry. I'm used to taking a lot of water. Okay, okay, for food. You know, a small drink. I'll wait for the food. How long has it been? 15 minutes. <laughs> 15 or 5 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's been 5 minutes. We're just waiting for. Them. We read them even according to how fast they bring their meals and so on and so forth. So far, the juice, as I've told you, it's very, very yummy. 
I'm sorry for the sound because we are like in a market. You know how noisy a marketplace is. So kindly bear with me. It's just that I wanted to share with you the experience of this place. You understand? <laughs> I'm opposite Al Habib Mall and Max Shopping Mall. Max Shopping Complex. Max Shopping Complex is the place where if you want a good carpet at a reasonable price, not a cheap price, at a reasonable price you can get, you know? Yeah. So it's just along the shops on Isili. I'm sure you saw when we came in while we were heading into Isili to go do the shopping. I'm sure you saw um, I'm sure you saw the row of shops on one side and the other side and then in the middle there was a in the middle there was a road where we were coming from food food in Isili. The prices are not bad because uh, like we've ordered a platter for two of skewers, chicken, I think maybe pork ribs, but we'll see when it arrives. Eh? We just ordered like a platter for two. So do you want me The platter for two that we ordered um, is just fifteen dollars or one thousand five hundred. You see how the food is, and then you tell me on the comments below whether it's worth fifteen dollars. You know, but uh, we've been assured that it will. Um, it will both of us, me and him, will be full. To Tashiba Vizuri. So we'll see when it comes, and then from there we can be able to assess. The food is here. It's come so fast. Yeah. <laughs> I hope it's, it's yummy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Food. There is the food. Let me zoom you. I think it's worth the fifteen dollars. It looks so yummy. Um, on the side, there is some um, sauces, different sauces. There is the meal, the platter that you told you about. It looks so sumptuous and yummy. Uh, let's just dig in. I'll tell you how it is. There is our meal. It has chicken. For the liver. The surprise, of course. Very yummy. The chicken skewers or mshikaki in Swahili. As you can see, the food has been demolished. And it, because it was so yummy, we even decided to do some takeaway for the rest of the people who remain back home. So we're just going to wrap up this meat that is remaining and also some more chips that we bought for the kids at home. And then we take to them so that when they see the video, they don't start saying, Mom, why did you eat alone? <laughs> hmm? You only ate with dad. We don't want that to happen. <laughs> oh, if you are rating, I will rate the meal uh, um, an eight. 
and uh, the drink are nine, the environment and everything are nine. If you want to know why, not a ten. Comment below or follow me on my Instagram at Conscious Vlogs on Instagram and you'll be able to ask and you can be answered from that end. That was lovely and yummy. So see you back when you continue with this vlog. For now, I'm going to have to put you down for a bit and then we continue. So, um, it's evening time, like, uh, businesses inside have now moved outside, like, I think to get that extra back, eh? So, these are the streets of Isili. We are just stuck in traffic and I thought why not record for you guys so you can get to see also this part of it. The streets are full, now. right now it's not raining. So, people are so many out here. Not like in the morning hours, or not really morning hours, not like at one when it was raining. Yeah, you can see the streets, they are full of people. In fact, there is no space to even pass. Um, luckily, this is a kind of safe place. Like um, the kind of reaction that people have to people maybe who pickpocket and such. It's very violent. It's not a good thing. In fact, I hate I hate it terribly. And whenever I say I hate when I see that kind of violence, People normally come for me like, no one has ever stolen your item, no one has ever snatched your item on the streets. But I don't, still, I don't think it warrants, <coughs> it warrants that kind of uh, reaction. Don't come for me, please. That is my opinion. That is the kind of person I am. So we are getting out of Isili. The traffic is improving a bit. So I'll just put you down and pick you up maybe later, today or even tomorrow. See you later.